the effects of jellyfish stings are wide-ranging, from mild discomfort to even death, depending on the species. Over the last few years, Gibraltar has seen an increase in these marine animals, with thousands on our shores this past weekend. But what specifically is causing the problem? Jellyfish booms have been happening for, for, for a long time. It's the, the frequency and the intensity of the jellyfish blooms that we are experiencing over the past 20 years in, in particular. There are a number of reasons uh, being attributed to, to or causal factors to, to these blooms. One of them, for example, is climate change. Uh, increased sea surface temperatures, uh, less rainfall. These can favour the reproduction of, of certain jellyfish species, such as the one we see in, in Gibraltar, which is a mauve stinger, which is arguably the most um, common jellyfish that hits our shores. There are other reasons that um, uh, can cause jellyfish blooms. Uh, the fact that there are less predators is also uh, another reason that sometimes this belief um, needs to be looked at more closely. And also physical uh, characteristics or oceanographic characteristics. So is it expected to be a big issue for us this summer? It's, it's very difficult to, to predict. What we can do is, is rely on, on different forecasting models and also on citizen science projects, like for example, the Nautilus project, they're, they're, they've developed a Nemo app and, and they're recording sightings along different parts uh, of Gibraltar. That helps in, in issuing alerts, which is precisely what the Department of the Environment is doing using its, its uh, social media uh, capabilities, Twi Twitter, Facebook, etc. Um, that is the main re uh, adaptation strategy that we're adopting. Obviously, the nets have gone a certain way in uh, protecting. Are there any plans to introduce uh, more nets at some of the beaches? Not at the moment. We've, we've deployed jellyfish nets in all the different beaches in Gibraltar. Um, the works were completed very recently. Um, having said that, this will be subject to continuous review. If we feel that there is a need for more jellyfish nets and that they are able to withstand the, the, surface con the, the sea surface conditions, then they will be deployed, yes. Eastern Beach is the largest of our beaches and the net sits on one side of it. Reportedly, beachgoers on the other side not affected, currently campaigning for a second net to be introduced. So is something that you're considering? Absolutely, it's something that we're considering at the moment and um, subject to the continuous review uh, of the assessments that have been carried out by the department, uh, we'll, we'll be looking at that very shortly. Nets can go a certain way, but the rough seas and swell means the jellyfish are sometimes swept into these safe areas. The advice, therefore, for beachgoers is to be vigilant. It goes without saying that during the summer months we spend plenty of time on our beaches. That's why issues of cleanliness and littering, as well as the recent jellyfish problem, are concerns and need to be addressed. There are a number of things we can do. Um, one of them being uh, try and, and, and throw less litter as possible. Um, litter can have an impact on some of the top predators that, that feed on jellyfish, on loggerhead turtles, on, on sunfish, for example. Um, and the increase in plastics is also uh, one of the sort of um, causal factors that, that has been attributed to, to the decline in, in, in these animals. So yes, absolutely, when you're at the beach, try and, and well, throw your litter in the bin and, and recycle as much as possible. The introduction of recycling bins at the beaches last year has gone a certain way in addressing the litter issue, with the department keen to focus on the matter this summer too.